I recently saw a video on YouTube uh, by a guy called Julian Eilert and uh, he uh, demonstrated a, a thing called the Jewel Thief where you can drive an LED which typically takes about 2 volts uh, from a battery which is virtually flat, flat which um, has a voltage with 1 point something volts and uh, when I saw that I thought oh, I wouldn't mind having a go at that and in his video Julian Eilert said that he was looking at the efficiency of, of the circuit and how to make it more efficient so I've made a few changes to the circuit and I thought I'd demonstrate them here. Uh, so I've got a battery, uh, it's a rechargeable battery, uh, but if I take a look at the voltage on the battery, it's sitting at 1.29 volts. And just as a demonstration, I've got a coin cell as well. And if I look at the voltage of that, that's at 2.94 uh, volts. So if I take a look at um, them powering, the coin cell powering uh, just the plain LED itself, you can see it, it powers up the LED, the green LED. Uh, but if I take the uh, AA um, cell, I'll try and power up the same LED. You see that there's no the green LED, it doesn't come on. Uh, but if I take the same uh, cell and I, and I power up the circuit, which is the, the Jewel Thief circuit, you'll see that the LED does light up. So there's a few changes I've made to this circuit. So on the toroid uh, inductor, uh, on the num number of turns which go from um, the plus voltage to the base of the transistor, I've got five turns. And the number of turns um, which go from the plus uh, voltage to the uh, collector, I've got 20 turns. Um, and I've done that because in on the base of the transistor, you don't actually need much current to turn it on uh, and, and then saturate the, the transistor um, whereas on the other part of the circuit onto the collector you actually want uh, most of your voltage to go there because um, cause that's what's, what's going to be powering your LED. Uh, then out of the transistor over here I've got a, a diode which is like a rectifying diode so that only the, the positive current goes to um, goes to the LED. LED. Uh, I've got it going for for a resistor, 4.7, 470 ohm resistor, and then across from the output of the diode to ground, I've also got a capacitor which acts as a uh, smoothing capacitor. Like if you had a mains rectifier and smoother, it's just doing the same as that. Um, and also into the base of the transistor, I've used a 10k resistor, and I'll show you why I've done that. So if I switch the circuit on, uh, and then I use a scope to take a look at the uh, the waveform coming out of the collector you see it's a nice square wave so if you if you, if the resistor going into the base of the transistor is too low then it oversaturates the base of the transistor and it generates a wave which isn't a nice square wave it's a more of a triangular kind of wave uh, but if you do that then i think what's happening is you'll um you're breaching the uh, the voltage from um, base to emitter, and you're losing a lot of your current down through the emitter to ground. So I think so. What you want is a, a nice square wave coming out of the collector. So if you if your if your resistor is too low, then it would probably be like a triangular wave. Uh, but if your resistor is too high, then it'd be more like a flat wave. So choose a resistor in between where you get like a nice square wave. And then if I look out of the uh, at the output of the diode uh, and one side of the capacitor. You'll see that um, I get a nice uh, DC voltage, so it's 3.74 volts I'm, I'm getting on that according to the scope. Uh, but it's a very flat line, so it's a nice DC running the uh, the LED through the resistor. Uh, so I think I'm getting a, a decent voltage because I'm, I'm making a more efficient use of the uh, the inductor in that you've got more turns going to the collector and fewer turns going to the base. And you get a nice smooth power supply. Uh, so what I'll do also is I might as well take a look at the current going through. Through here, I'll set up to 200 milliamp, milliamps. It won't be anywhere near that, I should hope. Uh, and I'll see if I can like shuffle my fingers to try and power all this up. Okay, so what I've got going through there is uh, 12.5 12, 12 milliamps. Uh, going to power the LED, well actually going through the, from the battery into the circuit, so it's, it's consuming 12 milliamps 
uh, and that the voltage uh, that it's consuming at is 3.7 volts. So I think that's fairly fairly efficient, uh, but it'll never be completely as efficient as um, like a boost converter or anything like that. But it, it it's uh, it was a nice experiment, and thank you for to Julian for sort of demonstrating it because uh, it's I've learned a lot from it as well.